All right. In the last session, we have seen the base page and we've wrapped up. Now it's time to go further and manage our spec file, which is core lib, or we can call it as hook hooks.ts. And I just I just named it as a core lib, that's fine. Or you can change it to hooks.ts, your wish. Okay. So now it's time for us to manage our browser efficiently and more importantly we are always launching only the chrome right so we are not giving any choice to the user right? we have to make sure that where our url specifically if you go here and you go to login page i think go to login page we have hard coded this which is not recommended way right okay so now how can we keep these things like username and password some environment variables how can we keep it okay so in order to do that i'm going to create a file here okay at the root level observe that in the project folder level okay so here you can see i think this is not needed let me delete it okay now we are in the right shape now create a file dot env right so here I will add a couple of things like browser equal to Chrome and application URL equal to, okay. So we have to copy paste this. Should be fine till here. After that username equal to this one and password equal to this one. Okay, so now if you're coming from automation background, especially from Selenium with Java combination, you might know the property file, right? So we use properties class in Java, where you can load all these things, you read it. Similarly, to deal with this environment file, so you, you may think that, okay, I what, what about if I have a QA environment, production environment, staging environment, I may have different URLs, we will see that. So time being, we just started with the single environment file. We may add multiple environment file also. Okay. So first let's see how we will read one environment file. Later on, we can specifically load only the file we want to load like .env.qa, .env.prod, stage, uh, dev. Okay. So now to deal this environment file, you remember we, we installed one NPM module .env in the beginning of the first video only right in the first video we have done this that env this is a library we are going to use it okay so now go back to your spec file so here it's time for us to add the before okay so before all okay remember we don't need to uh, make this uh, particular instantiate in every time only one time is enough right so i'm going to copy paste this let's copy paste this okay so here i will take this off from here and just paste it okay now this is done now after this i should be having after all also right after all let me copy paste it okay this is going to be after all okay so now i will be closing my browser in the end only so Control x and paste it okay and this page context should be closed after each and every scenario this is recommended also okay so so now observe here so this is done so now are we going to launch only the one browser no we may have to launch multiple browsers right for example uh, i may launch a browser okay observe here i may launch a browser which is edge which is edge or i may launch a browser which is let's say firefox okay firefox dot launch this one right so you can simply remove the channels not needed to be honest okay so now we have three but we cannot write like this right we have to add it in the switch statement based on the user's choice which is present in the environment file so to do that what i'm going to do 
I will write a switch statement first. Okay. Time being, what I will do? Let okay browser type equal to I will say Chrome. We are not gonna we are not gonna hard code it. We will remove it for time being. Okay. So switch statement and a browser type. If the value is let's say Chrome, okay, or if the value is GC, I want to launch the which browser? Chrome, which is good. Else, right? Case if the user says Firefox or if the user says FF, you can say this one. Done. Sorry, this this should be the third one, right? Okay, let it be. Control X this one, paste it. Case and we have to use break keyword. Break keyword and case this will be edge or case msh case msh case msh right in this case it should launch the edge and then break break now it's time for us to format the document we are good now okay observe here i just gave chrome okay and then i have written a switch statement i have written the switch statement what, what if the user, uh, uh, you know, uh, not passing anything or anything, in that case, you can simply say, throw new error, throw new error, string template, okay, throw new error, we can say invalid browser type, invalid browser type, browser type is passed please correct please correct it error message you wish okay this is done now if you try to launch the program i mean if you try to run the program nothing changed because everything is remaining same only thing is that what we have done is uh, we have written a switch statement but still there is a plenty of work has to do but i just want to check if everything is working fine because rather than okay so now try running it cls npm test okay so now everything should work fine Okay, my account. First one is passed, you can see. Yeah, you can see it is passed. Now it's time to read this value from the environment file, right? Okay. So now see here, import, import, which library dot env. Okay, what we have to say dot env dot env. So we can simply say dot env dot config. Okay, which will load these environment variables, these uh, key and values to the environment variables, right? So once you are done, you can directly make use of the things like this dot env dot sorry process dot okay process dot env dot so we should be using browser right browser okay i think we are good here now let's try to debug it and i will show you what kind of values this particular process dot env is holding it should hold four values one is the browser application url username and password okay so now let's try changing the same thing here also, right? So anyway, we are changing. Let's try do the same thing here also. 
right or else we can completely take this part from here okay and you can keep it before you can keep it before what you can do process dot env observe here process dot env dot this url right application url okay application url done easy right same thing what we can do here instead of saying like this we can simply say process dot env dot okay username user id what is what we have given username okay simply say username similarly I will show you what does this mean. We are just doing the null check because it is expecting the string. So we are just adding the null check over here. Same thing, process dot, env dot, password, env dot, password, null check. Okay. So now if you run the program, no, it should take the value from the environment file to make it simple. I will mark it as a edge. Okay. So now let's try to do the debug. So let me keep the debug point here. So this is a place. Add the JavaScript debug terminal. CD Cucumber. Now simply say NPM test. Okay, so now if I say process.env and evaluate in debug, uh, evaluate in debug console, you could see there are so many values that got added. Along with it, if you say this one, you could see scroll down. Uh, browser is undefined. What could be the issue? Process.env.browser. Browser. Browser. Okay. Okay, this is strange. Let me check one more time. Let's try running one more time. I'm not sure what is the issue. TLS. Try keeping it in here. It is still undefined. Okay. By looking at the issue, what I understood is this particular ENV file should be present inside of the your project root folder. So this is a mistake we made. So close your program. Control C, CLS, and move this file to the root folder. Okay. So now it will come. So one more time, make sure that this particular env file should be under your project root folder, not outside, not very in the, very inside. So it should be at the root level. So now try debugging it. Okay, so now let's see 
process.env.browser there you can see edge it is coming right like this you can say process dot env dot let's say password or username right you can see it is coming same thing application url same thing application url okay so i think we are good so we are able to capture the things from the okay what has happened what is the error unsupported chromium channel edge okay it should be msh cls run the program let me remove this debug point now it should be launched and then the program should continue okay something is wrong let's see what is the issue cannot read the properties of go to okay what could be the error okay so we should not use this here right so it should be page dot go to directly it should be page dot go to directly and then what is the issue over here okay simply null check should be fine okay so hopefully it's going to be the last and final Okay, I think we are good. So we are able to launch and we are able to continue in the Edge browser. Second browser. Like this, you can do the, uh, you know, testing in different browsers and that too keeping your information in the .env files. We are success finally. So if I wrap up, simply we created an environment file and note two point here is we should be keeping this file inside the project folder especially at the root level we added the browsers type application url username and password and using the dot env npm module we have loaded it and then we are simply reading process dot env that particular value okay same thing we are using for application url user id and password okay so in the next lecture we will see how we can handle the multiple environment variables like env.qa dev stage and all okay thanks for watching